Hi, it's me again with Corolla Girl Tips and Tricks. And when I'm looking for a shape font, then I'm going to show you where to find one. I make part of the alphabet and then I control D, move it down, and then I go to text, change case, and I make all that uppercase because some of the fonts are going to have different letters. And then I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to show you two fonts that I just found. This is NY Nipple something. And it's got that. Now, these aren't particularly perfect. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a control D of this because I want to you know, do some more letters. But I'm selecting this. So this way I get both the capital letters and the non-capital letters. Unless they're not perfect. So let's take um, control K to break it apart. And let's look at this one right here. And I mean, this got hundreds of squiggles, what we call them, or I call them. But you can see it's a little rough. You know, if you zoom in, it's pretty rough. But that's really easy to fix. Left click, no fill, right click outline. You have to go object and convert them to a curve for this to work, because it won't work on the font. Then if you have X7 or above, you got a smoothing tool. Just click on it and just lightly start smoothing it out. And just kind of go with the font. I mean, look how much better that is. I'm not going to do the whole font, but occasionally you'll have bad parts in these type squiggles. And that's very easily fixed. Get your shape tool, grab those two nodes and just bring them into your line. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. And I'm not going to clean up the other side, but then I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I fill that in and that seals up that joint. And then I'm going to left click, right click, Control D to make a duplicate, holding down this control button, hitting this two point arrow. And then I'm just going to lightly nudge it over. And I am going to weld this and look at, look at that. Did it so fast I didn't even realize it had done it. That would take you a long time to draw. The other font I want to talk about is pretty cool. It, it's just as cool. Called Ornament Labels and Frames. And look at that. Now these are more perfect. Uh, they're cleaner. So I'm going to control K to break this apart. And I'm going to grab this one right here. Let's just delete everything else else off the page. And let's look at this. This is a font. You know, it's still showing you that it's a font up here. You can left click, right click it. You can go to object and convert it to a curve. If you want to change part of it, like I don't want that line below, I can just take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now, you could still go like this and then right or left click and fill it all in. And that's even going to figure, fill out your other part. But once you've done some things to it, that might not work. But I want you to look how sharp these lines are. I mean, a graphic artist would take a while to draw that. So give DA fonts, you know, it's a, a basic, so here it is right here. I just typed in DA font, dafonts.com. I found these by going to shapes and you just, I mean, there's 16 pages of shape. There's reefs, you know, that would, a lot of people have trouble drawing myself with one, but I'm going to go to page three. And there's that font right there I just used called, I forgot what it was called now. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty sure, there it is right there. Ornament, frames, and design. I haven't even looked at them all. I mean, look at, look at some of those fonts. And one thing that's good about it, you can actually check, you know, you can um, click on there and you can actually type in letters, you know, into here, or act, they're showing you what the D's are and what the letters are. But it's really easy. All you have to do is go to download. And you're going to want to want the one that's a font. Sometimes there'll be two. Just double click on it and say install. Now, I'm going to get a message that I already have it, which I do. But that's as easy as you can get. And then when you go into Corel, that font will be there. And if we look right here at our last fonts used, 
there's those two last fonts, ornament and nymph. I mean, there's some pretty cool designs. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.